Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I Dream of Wigs, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Missy, and I am with TL Wigs. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button so that you can get all of my new content that I'm going to be posting. Um, I plan on doing a lot of reviews for TL Wigs coming in the near future. I've already done quite a few, but I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button so that you can see all the content that I'm going to be bringing you. So, this is from TL Wigs. She provided this wig for me so that I could do this review for you today. TL Wigs is a brand new online wig company, and I'm going to drop the link to our private Facebook group in the description. All you have to do is click that link, and it should take you right on over to our Facebook group. This is where you are going to be doing all of your business transactions with Tracy Laird, the owner. Um, her website is currently being built and until it's complete, the Facebook group is where it's happening. So you just tell her what you want. She has got um, different links within the group of all of the different brands and manufacturers that she sells and she can give you prices, things like that. Right now, I can tell you that she currently has some specials going with discounts anywhere from 30 to 40 percent off and she's always doing giveaways she has probably given away I don't know two three wigs in the last couple of months and right now what is going on is she has a $1,000 gift card that she's going to break up into four. So it's going to be $250 going to four special people that place orders. So if you order one or two or three wigs, that's going to give you three entries for the $250 drawing. So I really encourage you to get on over there and check things out before the website is done because once the website is complete she is not going to be able to um, offer the discounts that she's currently been offering and that is because she has to comply with the manufacturers and they mostly do 30 percent okay so i started this review upstairs and it is just really overcast today and i had shadows all over me so i'm thinking that i wasted my time getting my room done up there because this seems to be the best place in the house to do it who knew in the basement you know i have one window that's it <laughs> so but anyways i'm down here now and i'm kind of disappointed because i've got my blue indianapolis colts on hoping for a second win this weekend um can i get a yes <laughs> and I had my little Christmas tree up there, my white Christmas tree with the little blue lights and all that. So I'm kind of disappointed that I had to do it down here, but it is what it is. So this is Stella from Ellen Villa. This is one of the new releases for the Act Two. Um, there were four in Act Two, and I honestly cannot tell you the names of all of them um, because I know two of them were short little pixies, and I don't do short pixies. This is about as short as I'm going to get. But there was In Vogue, and I liked that one. That's the longer style with the mini lace. And like I said, I'm, I'm not sure what the other two were called. But this one is from the Modix collection. And this color, this beautiful color that you're seeing on my head, is the Bahama Beige Shaded. And I love that Ellen Villa always puts the numbers on the tags. This is 16, 22, 20. I love that because you know exactly what you're getting if you know those color codes. And if you don't, it's easy enough to look them up so that you get a good idea of what this color is and what it's going to look like. We're talking about Stella. But isn't she just adorable? I know that some of you are probably thinking that this is way too short for me. And Normally, I would say yes, but when I see something that's got curls, you can bet that I'm going to have to try it because I I love curls, and I, I don't know. I just, I can do a lot with curls without having to use the tools, you know, the, the hair dryer and the 
curling iron and things like that I can get a style with a curly wig just by using you know my hands and some products so that's pretty much all I've done here so let me quit chit chatting and just get into the specs of this and everything so this front right here this is a long eight inches long but as you can see it's very doable just stays off of the head forehead and just it's just gorgeous the sides are seven inches the crown to the end is 10 inches and this says that the nape is four inches but that's not right um i'm going to turn around and, and you'll see the nape here's here's the nape right here that's maybe two two and a half inches at the most so overall it is very short coming in from the crown to the end at about 10 and a half inches this is a heat friendly synthetic so if you don't like these curls you can always use your straightener and take the curls out and make it straight i personally i have never straightened a wig i have put curls in them but I have never ever straightened a wig and I probably never will. I also try to go as long as possible without having to um, use my tools on them and that's easy enough to do if you take good care of them whenever you take them off. Use your um, Simply Styling, spray that on your hands. Don't want to spray it on the wig. I don't because then it's, it's just too much and it makes it um, too heavy and too sticky so I just spray it on my hands and, and rub my hands together like this and then just put it on the ends so yes cute little just adorable bob let me go ahead and do a spin for you so that you can see this all the way around I'm looking for my clicker there it is okay so I'm gonna spin so you can see it all the way around and I'm not really sure what the back looks like um, got my mirror here I guess I should have looked so it kind of looks like a stacked bob, but it's not. It's just the way the curls are laying. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Yeah, to me it just looks stacked. It looks adorable is what it looks. To my right, and then back to my front. So yes, there are lots of styling uh, possibilities with this one. Um, you can, you know, use your tool, not your tools, your accessories if you would like on this. I think you could even ear tuck this and look really cute. What I'm going to try and do, or I, I'm not going to try and do, I'm going to do, is I'm going to get these sides right here to come more in like this because I have this little turkey gobbleish thing going on here and I think that I look better in these shorter bobs with that into my face so that's that's what I'm going to try and do but yeah she does a really good ear tuck so let me take this off and show you the inside of the cap it's amazing it is amazing I love these ear to ear lace fronts and in my opinion you really want to be a little bit more delicate with your lace fronts that go ear to ear and try not and put them inside out so often because i've had them fray and tear before it's it's very rare but it does happen so i'm not going to turn her inside out i'm just going to show you the lace front you can see that it goes to the ear tabs and it's a very deep left mono part we have the felt line ear tabs with bendable stays and then your extended nape with the velcro closures and then this is all open wefting there's no permatease on this let me put this back on and hope that it looks as good as before i took it off line my ear tabs up here yeah i i just ellen villa is one of my favorites they will always be one of my favorites anytime a new short style comes out i'm gonna have my hands on it so this color bahama beige shaded like i said is 16 22 20 and this is a medium honey blonde 
get my glasses back on here. This is a medium honey blonde with light ash blonde and a very, it says, very light red brown undertones. I, I struggle again to see any red brown. It's more of a medium brown rooting. And there you can see the left monofilament, how it just looks so natural like your hair is just growing out of your scalp. Isn't she adorable? Let me know what you think. I think she's so cute. I have a tendency also to um, get these wigs and then for whatever reason, I uh, will pull them out to, to either wear them or I don't know, uh, wear them, I guess. And I'll get them out of the box and I'll be like, no, I'm not wearing that today. It just doesn't look right. Um, but this one in the summer, this is going to be probably my main wear. So I'm not getting rid of this. And Tracy, if you are watching my review, please do not ever let me sell this one because I want her for the summer. She's going to be so cool and just look so pretty whenever I go on holiday vacations to Jamaica. Uh, she's just going to be adorable. So placement I think I did like I said don't forget to uh, check out our private Facebook group that is going to be linked in the description and I guess I will see you there like this video and if you're new like I said please subscribe to my channel I appreciate all of you and your support um, that's what makes me excited to do these reviews for you so I've got to find my clicker and get some pictures outside. Thanks for joining me again, and you all have a great Thanksgiving, those of you that are here in the United States next week. I want to show you all my jeans that I got today in the mail from New York and Company. <laughs> they are adorable. I, don't, I haven't even taken the tag off yet. And like I said, I know that this doesn't match. They just all came together, and I had to show how cute these are. Okay, what I have a uh, a a sweater that I also bought from them that matches the red down the front of these exactly. I mean, it's called the same color, and then it has a little bit of leopard print in it. And I have some leopard high heels. I mean, we're talking high high heels that I'm going to wear those with these, and it's just going to be so adorable for Christmas photos with my husband. So. I'm going to get outside and show you all some uh, pictures outside. Thank you again.